I think the main reason that I chose engineering as a career is this man here, and that is my dad. And um, my dad was a design technology teacher, and he always joked that he always wanted boys. When he didn't, he had me and my sister. And he encouraged us to go into his workshop from a very young age and play around with his tools and learn to use the different things that he had in there. He had a lot of tools. I learned to use the chuck key on his pillar drill when I was five. I was taught how to wire a plug when I was seven. In fact, I went to my brownie troop and showed all my fellow brownies at the age of seven how to, how to wire a plug. And um, one thing that I made for my dad is, is this. Now, this is a replica that he made for my wedding during his wedding speech. And it was called the Spiky Hedgehog. So it was after he taught me to use some of his tools for Father's Day. I made him out of a block of wood and some nails and some stripped wire, probably my first piece of actual engineering. So I have a lot to thank my dad for. I think I, think I have. Yeah, I'm enjoying my career so far. The other reason that I think I got into engineering and had an interest in technology was Lego. We were encouraged to play with Lego and building blocks from a young age. My mom had some um, stuff from the 1960s. I think it was called Bakelite, this like alternative building system with rods that she had. And I loved building houses out of that as well. Um, I absolutely adored Lego. We had this massive tub full of the stuff and me and my sister would um, mix the Barbies up with the Lego and make like houses and bedrooms for the Lego so that everything could sort of fit together. Um, then when I went to secondary school, I really enjoyed science and in particular physics. And I have to say a large part of why I particularly enjoyed that so much was my fantastic physics teacher, Mr. Mangan. Um, I had him for GCSE and for A-level, and he was a, a really large part, I believe, of why I enjoyed the subject so much. He was a, a really passionate teacher and really conveyed his um, appreciation for the subject over to us at school. And I think this really shows the importance of what a good teacher can bring to children. Um, so I got to finishing my A-levels and I was looking at what to do for university and had this real passion for physics. So I was going to apply to do physics at university, which I did. Um, I went to visit Durham, which is where my cousin and my second cousin went, all to do engineering. And I went round and I loved it so much, I decided that I was going to go to Durham, regardless of whatever happened, that's where I was going to go to university. So I looked at the courses and because there were two people in my family who'd already done engineering, I applied to engineering as well as physics. Um, I got accepted onto both and they were my choices one and two. And after I finished my A-levels, before I got my results, I decided um, after a particularly hard final physics paper I forget the name they call it but it was basically where you summarize the whole of your A-level physics learning in one paper and it was impossible to revise for it was really hard and after that I thought do I really want to do all this theoretical stuff or is it the more practical thing that I really enjoy the most and in between finishing my A-levels and getting my results I actually decided that it was the practical aspect that I enjoyed the most and that for me engineering was really the one that I really wanted to go for and that because of the grades that was required was actually my number two choice because physics had a higher entry requirement than engineering so I did actually decide prior to getting my results and you might believe this or not that I was going to do engineering anyway regardless of what what my results gave me and I think in some ways it's a little bit of fate that when I went to get my level results I didn't quite get the grades for physics but I got them for engineering and my physics teacher, Mr. Mangan, approached me at the door and was really worried because he thought that I, he didn't realise that I decided to do engineering. He was really worried for me that I wouldn't get on to do the course that I wanted. And then I had this massive smile on my face and told him that actually it was going to be fine and that I decided that I wanted to do engineering after all. And I think it was the best decision that I ever made. Um, I don't think I would have enjoyed physics as much as I enjoyed engineering. Um, and for me in particular, I did a general engineering degree. So although I knew I wanted to do this sort of applied maths and science aspect, I didn't really know which particular strand of engineering I wanted to go into. 
so there's for those of you that don't know there's lots of different types of engineering that you can do so you've got civil engineering which is sort of what i do now there is mechanical engineering electrical electronic chemical geotechnical so i really didn't know which aspect of those that i wanted to do i just knew that i wanted to do something to do with maths and science that was that was quite practical so the course that i chose at university was general engineering which meant that I got to do two years of all the different types of engineering and then I didn't have to choose until my third year which specialism that I wanted to do um, and that for me was a real bonus um, and I would just encourage anyone who thinks that engineering is for them but isn't a hundred percent sure which particular aspects to consider doing a, a general type course where you get a really rounded education in all the different aspects before you um, before you decide what it is that you want to, to specialise in specifically. So that's pretty much why I chose engineering. I am, I am happy doing it. It, is, it was the right decision for me, absolutely. I'm, I'm, I think I'm a natural problem solver and I think laterally and that's why I, I fit quite well within engineering. 